Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you my new Epson deck. Um, the cards in this deck are only cards from the starter box. Uh, that means uh, we can we can't choose the holy cards 716. We only have 116 cards. That's our only 16, 17, or 18 percent of all the cards for Magic Duels. Um, the deck is um, it's specially for persons that don't have the time to play a lot of Magic Duels, but want to have fun with magic and uh, don't want uh, to pay a lot of money to get coins and buy boosters um, therefore I try to build a good deck with uh, only the cards you get if you only play the campaign and the yeah and the the deck has two themes uh, one theme is uh, the elf theme and another theme is uh, the delirium theme. The big problem um, uh, in this build is that we don't have a lot of good removals and we don't have uh, good card draw engines. Um, I play with one other deck and uh, lose uh, four games in a row. And this is was not really <laughs> exciting for me. And then I, um, I delete my deck and try it again and uh, build now this deck and uh, want to make three games and uh, take a more time f for the deck tech um, because some new players um, yeah, need some some help uh, for deck building and the explanation why I put one of these cards in the deck. Okay, the elf. This is a 1-1 one, one elf. Um, it gets plus 1, plus 1 if I play um, a plane. Uh, or I have plane uh, in, on the battlefield and has the ability to pump all my creatures with uh, 5 mana. Um, this is good, uh, uh, especially for a uh, later game. Um, these enchantments is very exciting because um, you can um, pay a green and a colorless mana to sacrifice and look uh, at your four uh, uh, for for uh, at your four cards of your library and choose the artifact creature enchantment land or planeswalker card. Um, okay, we don't have a planeswalker card. Don't we don't need a f uh, enchantment, but we need a lot of uh, artifacts uh, or not a lot of, but a lot of creatures. There are some good creatures in this deck that we needed. Okay, this is uh, our first removal. Yeah, it's it's easy uh, because we only have to pay one black mana. We have a lot of uh, smart creatures that we can um, sacrifice. Um, here is the uh, elf, for example can sacrifice we don't uh, trade uh, two for one because we uh, get a land card and we trade one to one if we sacrifice the elf and play the sorcery we uh, make only one one deal and that is good um, the another one is uh, a delirium card delirium card is uh, if we have four or more different kind of uh, cards in our graveyard. The creatures get uh, special um, uh, functions. Uh, like here, is, uh, he gets plus three plus zero, and is now for two mana a three four creature. This is very powerful. And um, how we get our um, graveyard full uh, with uh, a lot of material? Is um, with this enchantment because um, the other cards we don't uh, need uh, will be put it in the graveyard. White, especially only for um, for this removal uh, in in the deck, because um, the last games show me 
that I need a lot of more removals. There are big creatures in the game or will be pumped and if we don't um, and it has a lot of removals we will lose very quickly. And um, white is here for a plane to pump up the elf and uh, yeah, to use um, his pump ability for all other creatures. The best creatures I think is uh, this one. Uh, this is a three, two three creature. He can transform if we have uh, four different kinds of types, card types in our graveyard. It's also the Delirium card. He is then a uh, four three, a nicely creature. Um, another time is that we have another elf. He come into play and can destroy an artifact or enchantment. It's very uh, nicely. Uh, in this time, a lot of people play mill, and we can kill the enchantment that that uh, will mill us, or we can um, destroy an equipment or something else. This is very good. Uh, normally, um, the elf has every time a target. Okay, this is a pump spell and a draw spell. Um, it's function like a little bit like uh, a removal. If we attack and um, play this uh, instant uh, uh, to our creatures, uh, normally um, or hopefully uh, our creature will not be die and another creature uh, died. And it's it's a pump and it's for this deck um, sometimes more a removal. Um, Juggernaut is um, a smart one. For only four mana, we get a five-three creature. Um, it can't be blocked by walls, but have to attack each time. And this could be dangerous. But for four mana, it's not another big good deal here in this uh, starter box uh, to put in the creature another creature into the deck. As a four-three is a good one, and we have some pump spells that hopefully. He will still alive. And the last uh, creature in our deck is um, uh, the 3-3 three, three elf. Um, he, if you play an elf, he brings us another 1-1 one, one elf token um, for free into play. It's very nicely. It's for blocking. It's for attacking. And um, if we have a lot of creatures into play, then we can pump these creatures with this elf. Okay, um, the mana is very easy. We uh, um, took uh, the uh, double lands uh, of each um, carved, uh, farb type, color type, farb type is German, color type into the deck. Seven mountains, seven swarms, and only two planes. We search the planes uh, with the elfish uh, um, eye tutor in German, uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, we have a lot of uh, possibilities to play with the deck. I think um, it will it will be great uh, for for the KI, and um, yeah, we will see uh, how it works against um, people. Now my rank is uh, 34 or 36 and um, yeah it could be that we play against uh, really good players. Um, yeah and uh, let's start it and look look at the game if we get a chance to win hopefully but uh, for the normal game if you start it and you want to go to the rank 10 or 20 it should be not a problem if you play with this deck or um, you will uh, grind some some money um, against the KI. Try the deck. I hopefully we have fun. And yeah, see you. Hi, uh, we play our first game. And um, this is a keep. And we play against uh, Kiha. Check it. Okay.
I hopefully we have a good game. And first we play our elf. This is a 1-1 one, one elf. If we play a, a plane, then he get plus 1 plus 1. And we can pump all our creatures if we pay 5 mana. Okay, what is this? Yeah. It's a good blocker and a good pump creature. Okay. I still waiting. Okay, it's nice. Uh, I think we have a red aggro deck uh, against, against us uh, with a lot of removals and direct damage. Um, I'm really sure that Mr. Juggernaut will not survive the round. Okay, come on. We don't block. Block your spring. Okay. Play your land. And the madness deck. And he has only one mana. Okay, we. And we have only spats. We don't want to play or can't play. Oh no. Come on, we attack with this creature. You don't want to sacrifice. Okay. Come on. If you draw a land, or he sacrifices this creature later. To discard a card and draw a card. Now we get first of all two damage. Okay, what is this? This is an artifact. Okay, a special for. Okay, this creature can't be blocked by if he equipped a creature, then my creatures can't block if their power is greater than his power. Okay. It's nice. And if he deals me damage, then uh he can draw a card and disc and have to discard a card. Or we attack. Okay, we can play now the 2 3 creature. Um, but we have no cards in our graveyard and can't use his delirium uh, ability to flip and destroy a creature. And I don't want to sacrifice this creature against a small creature. Then this is not really, it's not a good deal. We play first our Juggernaut. Then we see what will be happen. Okay, the equipment costs two mana. Okay, now he has the second mana. He equipped. Now he sacrificed. And discard and destroy our juggernaut. Sure. <laughs> but is this okay? Um, juggernaut is an artifact and a creature. Um, therefore, we have now two different kinds of spells in our graveyard. And you play another one. Yeah, okay.
Okay, now we can play this creature. And this creature. And we can block. If he equip, we can block his um, both creatures. Then he can't uh, deal us damage because our creatures has the same power level. We need the instant, this one, and a sorcery card in our graveyard to use this ability or a land. But we don't play with evolving wilds or something else because we don't, it's not allowed in the starter box. This is an easy way to get a land card in our graveyard. But now we have to wait for the enchantment or something else and our opponent is still thinking what he can do. Mr. Akia, check it. Okay, is this a trick? Could be. It's possible that he has a twin bolt. No, we don't want to block. I take the two damage. Okay, and another Fury Impulse. Or he do a misplay. Because he thought he has two different... Yeah! This a win? Okay, it's now eight minutes. I try my best for the next game. Okay. Thank you for watching and uh, now we see us in my next game. Yeah, that's the win. Okay, my first game and the win. And now at the second game. Um, okay, in the, my first game uh, my opponent uh, is mana screwed and uh, did misplay. Then he left. Okay, this was a win and uh, now we see no mana, it's not a keep. Okay, this hand uh, looks be great. And um, okay, we can start. We play against Akumetsu, rank 40. I will hopefully we have a chance. We will see what uh, he play. Okay, red against. Okay. Okay, the first we play our enchantment. The enchantment has the ability if you pay two different, uh, one green and one colors mana, you can search artifact creature, planeswalker, or enchantment and land card. This is very uh, necessary for our delirium cards. We have in our decks seven or eight delirium cards. Um, and uh, hopefully we draw one the next steps. Okay. Black red. It could be an Rector. It's it's a Rector deck. It could be a Madness deck. It could be a Sacrifice deck. Uh, we will see. Now I play our Elf. Search for a plane. Then we can play later.
our instant card to destroy another creature. We'll see what you play now. Okay. A giant deck. Nice. But we have an answer, Mr. Elf Rematosierung in German can destroy an artifact or an enchantment, replay it and destroy his enchantment. Great. <laughs> Okay, bye bye, and now we can attack. So good, so fine, Mr. Akametsu. Four colors. Unbelievable. Oh, we have some problems against planeswalkers. Hopefully he will block our elf. Okay, what we can do? We need another green mana to play this creature. And this Okay, we try it and attack with all. Hopefully he blocked the 1-1. One, one. No. He's a good player, know the, know the tricks. Okay. Then we need some pressure on the board. Play this elf. We get plus one plus one for the plants we have to play. Okay. Now Nissa will be flipped. He searched two another lands. Nissa flips. I think he will uh, use the ability minus two to get a uh, yeah that's right to get a uh, elementary token this is fine then we can kill the elementary token and now we are on the play what land he has one white blue Black, reds. What he can do? Four mana, four damage. Play with our juggernaut. I don't know really. Okay, we play our, play our juggernaut first. We Attack Nissa to kill Nissa. Attack in his face for damage. This is really risky because if we have a uh, mass removal, then our board is empty. And we have no other creatures on our hand, but um, we have to have to do some pressure on the board. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, revenge. He destroy our creatures. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Bad boy. Uh, 
<laughs> now we have one, two. Uh, we can get delirium if we <coughs> use um, the viability of this enchantment. We can't attack because we only get plus two, plus two. And his creature is 6 5, and we already use 4 damage maximum. Yeah, yeah, we have to use. No. We have to use this? Yeah, we have to use and need a green mana. Hopefully, we draw a green mana. No. We draw black mana, but we need the land in our graveyard. No, no, no. Enchantment. What do we have in our graveyard? Enchantment. No. What the fuck? Ah, uh, the time. Hmm. Okay, this was a big misplay. <laughs> big, big misplay. Okay. Come on, boy. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, yeah. Six, six, nice. Another juggernaut. We play a juggernaut. He only has. 12 mana, uh, 12 mana, 12 life points. Oh no, he can tap our creatures each turn. In. Ah, okay. That's really, really bad. We have to block. Okay. We have a little chance. Destroy this creature. Okay. Destroy. Sacrifice this creature. It's nice. Let's see. Yeah. You can each time remove a counter to tap our creatures, and you can attack for eight. We are dead. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, you take one. And then you take two. So another one. Place. Yeah. Good game, mister. I do a wrong misplay, but uh, I think I have lost also. <laughs> 
Okay. Good game. See you in the next game. Bye. Okay, now the last game I give my best uh, for a win. Uh, okay, new cards. This is a little bit better. Yeah, we I keep it. Um, now it's um, it's one one, one win, one one loss. And now we play against Mr. or the Mrs. Ho Ho Petegui. Okay. Have a good game. Have fun. And uh, we'll see what you play. Blue. It could be blue red. Progress is, uh, today is very famous. Um, or a mill deck. Could be also a control deck. Okay, we will see, Mister. If you play well, we can kill your turtle. Please give me a mana. I need a mana. Now we play uh, our delirium creature, uh, CO4. If we have four different kinds of uh, cards in our graveyard, the creature get plus three, plus zero. We have two enchantments on our board um, to use uh, the ability is only for two mana, there we have it. And if we are a lucky person, then we can activate now in our turn um, the delirium cost. Or we play first. No, we use this ability first because he has enough mana for counter and I don't want to Ooh. okay we need a creature in our graveyard we have a creature in our graveyard okay we have now three different types in our graveyard a creature a land and an enchantment um, you see it on, on the type here, here, here it's a 3. And um, if we play next turn our instant, then uh, there are 4 uh, cards in our graveyard. And the creature is then a lot of powerful than CO4, it's then 3-4. Okay, next we don't attack, it's probability play. A flash creature at the end of our turn. The three was three. No, don't do it. Play nothing. Hmm. Okay, then we attack. Okay, why he attack with the C4? Zero 4 creature. Oh no, he play instant. And the creature is now 2 6. And I draw a card. And no. Okay, he take the damage. And don't give us the creature back. What is this? What is this? Okay, this creature don't un un untap the next step, but it's not a problem. Hopefully we don't play against Olamark. Hopefully not. Okay, we can use this ability first. Search for hopefully a powerful creature. Not powerful, but good. And then we play this creature. 
<coughs> it's not good uh, that we show uh, him that we have a creature we can transform and destroy a creature of him and therefore um, apply the first uh, another three four and still waiting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Okay, draw cards. Discard two cards. What he discard? Bad boy. Draw engine. Nice, really nice. I like it. I like to draw cards. Three, six, seven, seven, seven cards on the sand. Okay. Okay, we attack first. What he do? He do nothing. Okay, draw a card. He play a Tutelage deck. Sure. Mm, now we play. Need we some more pressure? I don't know really. Mm. Black is good. Okay, what's in our graveyard? Ooh, pump all the pump spells in our graveyard. The juggernauts not. Yay, 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 yay. Play with the creature. He has blue, he has snow white. It's only green now. Come come on, we play it. Yes, no, no mana in his hand. Come on. Boah. Another land. Draw, 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 land, land. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and draw. <laughs> Nice. Okay. What is this? Okay, you can take. It. What the fuck is this, mom? It's crazy. It's a nice deck. I like it a lot. Draw engine. More draw. <laughs> What he's searching for? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I know it. What he's searching for? <laughs> okay, he get for each instant sorcery spells in his graveyard. Two, two, three, two, two zombies. What the fuck? Okay. This is really great. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But they come tapped into play. Okay, need a middle, a little more speed. Okay, we can attack for three, six, seven, eight, nine. This could be lethal for the next round if he has nothing on other on his hand. Okay, we play this. We also can flip this card. Ah, we don't want it. I don't want it. Take this all. Oh. 
Okay. How much? Twelve. Twelve. Oh. Thirty. Okay, he can play the card. Then he get a lot of zombies. Okay, he get more than a lot of. He get craziness of zombies. And if he has a no, uh, the time warp that he can untap and attack with all. Okay, play another. It's possible that he has a fog. This could be. Okay, now he has to block it. Or play a fog. Or he's dead. Okay. Give me card back on my hand. He's only on two. <laughs> Give me a twin bolt. But I don't play red. Okay. Two. Nice. Okay, I try it again. Ah, okay, and this is also okay. Come on, come on, deck. Netherlands, okay. Can he play his army? Okay. Take it. Take it. Forty cards. Incredible. Yeah, fucking oh, great. Oh, nicely. Yeah. Bye bye. This was a good game. Okay, I flip a card. Destroy another card. Zombie token. Lock one. Lock another. Okay. Hey. It's it's really hard uh, uh, for the deck to win against uh, um, against players with uh, with a rank of uh, thirty or higher or thirty five. But it's uh, it's a good possibility to play. With uh, if you are start or beginner, then you can you play with the cards and uh, have a good time with the stack. Um, I think it's possible that you can reach the rank 20 or 25 with no problems and earn some money. Also try it. It's only uh, for fun and yeah, have fun with the deck and have fun with magic drills. Bye.